welcome to this episode of Catching Up With Your Seco Stationery. So, so casual. casual. Very well done. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Everyone, um, we have Authen here with us today for Catching Up, and it's actually your first time on Catching yeah, Up, right? It is my first time. It's I'm good so to excited. have you. Thank you. Yeah. I, mean, I think everybody knows Authen. He's been on our team for two years now. Yeah. And um, just amazing, such a super talented artist. He's done special projects for Yoseka. And um, yeah, lucky to have you as part of our team. I'm really, really, really lucky to have you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> um, yeah, I just thought it would be fun to have Authen come on and kind of talk about some new projects that you've been working on, sure, right? Yeah. So what's been going on? You have like you've been so busy lately. Authen, like every time I see Authen, like he, he the way like our my schedule and Authen's schedule lines up is we only actually get to see each other like one right. time a week essentially. Yeah, just like one morning. One yeah. Morning. yeah. And Authen is always so busy. Every time mm -hmm. I ask Authen, he's like, I'm just busy. So can you tell us a little bit about this like project that's been keeping you so busy lately? Sure, of course. <laughs> yeah, so um, recently I started like my own art shop, like my mm, personal yay! art shop. Yeah, I'm really happy about it. Congratulations. Thank you. And I've been like working for a long time on it. So probably some of you may know that like my personal, like my favorite animal is an axolotl. Yeah. And that's <laughs> like these like pink um, amphibians. Uh -huh. And then so I wanted to like design something that's based off of like these axolotls, but then I also want to do like something for them because they're actually like endangered mm -hmm. in wildlife. I designed a series of axolotl like stationary stuff. That's amazing. Yeah, I feel like the only reason I know about axolotls being endangered is because of you. Oh. Yeah, because you told me about that like a few years ago when I first met you. Oh, <laughs> so do you want to show us your your collection oh, sure, of yeah. axolotl items? So um, currently here I ha made like two stamps because <gasps> like I love making stamps. They're so tiny. Yeah, yeah. Like, you actually don't find that much axolotl stamps, you know, mm. out there. That's true. I mean, there's yeah. not a lot of axolotl stuff. I feel yeah, like it's like right? very niche. Like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. very niche. Just um, often. <laughs> yeah, just me. yeah. Yeah. So I probably like designed the, these like for myself. Oh, that's so cute. It's like an axolotl laying under a leaf. Oh yeah. So this one's actually inspired by like sakura mochi, <gasps> like Japanese. Oh my god, how cute! Stamp. And then this is just a little axolotl yeah, just, roaming around. Yeah. Just how shipping. adorable. Okay, so these are the wooden stamps in the axolotl collection. And then there's also yeah. a sticker. Yeah, this one's um, like a life cycle of it and an axolotl in their habitat. Oh. Just to like remind people, like these animals are endangered. Oh, this is so beautiful. It's like in a tree. Is, do they live in the water? Yeah, they do. They do? Yeah, oh, they, okay. Yeah, they spend their life like in the water. Interesting, yeah, how fascinating. Yeah. But most of, most of the time they don't come out of the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, okay. And they're pink. Oh, like, yeah, how they're, many animals are pink like this, right? They it's they like so like, cute. They just look so Oh my gosh, and and, they yeah. do look really fascinating. I remember at one point you were like, when you had just started last year, weren't you trying to like turn a fountain pen into an axolotl. Yes, I am still trying to. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my that's god. so funny. It's like Authen's axolotl obsession is deep, you guys. You have right. no idea. Um, okay, and then there's also a pin. It's called oh, <laughs> Medu yeah. Medusalotl. Yeah, this one's a Medusalotl. Yeah, so it's a Medusa, but with like all of the snakes turned into axolotls. Oh my god, that's so great, and it's so your style. Oh yeah. I love the pa the backing of the pin. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And then um, you can even find like Perseus. I think it's the hero who killed like Medusa in the mythology. So oh. I, like, okay, so. You're saying that like all of these, the the proceeds of these sales, some of them right. go to like an axolotl yes, so, foundation or yes, something. Yes. So um, I'm currently like donating like 10% of all of the um, axolotl line on my shop to like a nonprofit um, <gasps> organization in Mexico City. Like they help preserve the um, they help preserve the habitat Aww. of axolotls there. Yeah. Is it, are there 
more than is there more than one foundation? <laughs> oh, just there are like <laughs> plenty of um, really? foundations oh, wow. out there. But I think this one that I'm donating to is called Moja, mm. and then it just like focuses specifically on axolotls. Wow. So. Okay. So this is. Oh yeah, it says here Moja AC. So there's even yeah. information on the back of this pin about where. Um, where the proceeds will be will be going to to help the axolotls. Right. And then, um, do you have other stuff that you've also worked on, Athen? Oh yeah. And so here are other stickers that I've designed. I mean, I'm still working on more, like mm. expanding the shop. And then these are like some different lines from my um, artwork. So there are hot air balloon or like steampunkish um, design, like flying machines here. Wow. And then here are like another like food stuff, oh. like a food line. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love this. The ice cream sundae. Oh yeah. What does that say again? You told me. It oh, said yeah. like These coffee are, shop or something? Yeah, it's like the retro, like the Jun Kitsa or like the Kisa Ten, um, like the coffee shop, mm. like the retro coffee shop in Japan. Yeah. That says it in Japanese or in Chinese? Um, in Japanese. In Japanese. Yeah, I wanted to like design because like the retro Japanese stuff is like so popular yeah. in the stationery world. Yeah. And I wanted to design like something more like American friendly, so oh, like a banana split. Yeah. yeah. So it's like a merge, a merging right. of the two of the two cultures. Okay, how cool. So this is what you've been so busy on. I am, and I'm still like working on like expanding, like adding more stuff or more Yay, art stuff. Yay, yeah. that's amazing. You were showing the axolotl stamp the other day right. being used like with something else that you've created here at Yoseka, which I thought was just genius. Oh, thanks. So you should share it with everyone in case you have one of these stamps already. Right. So as like many of you may know, like I designed the um, the quick brown fox and the lazy dog ink stamp. And then so that day I just thought, oh, maybe I could just combine like using all of these stamps together. Oh, but that wasn't the plan when you first did Yeah, it was. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. I was okay. just like thinking about, oh, because like since I designed like all of these, so yeah. the styles will match. Oh, perfectly. they do yeah. match really perfectly. So show everybody the quick brown fox stamp. So here's the original quick brown fox stamp. And then this is like the imprint, right? Yeah. I see. And then so um, I thought of just like um, taping the stamp, like tape out the fox part and the dog part uh -huh. with like washi tape. Yeah. And then you just like apply the ink to it. And then after you stamp it, you can just like use the axolotls with <gasps> it. So it's genius. Look at that. Um, the quick brown axolotl jumped over the other axolotl. Yeah, the other <laughs> oh my god, how cute. I love all these pink inks too that you've oh, been yeah. swatching. They look great. Ooh. Kakimori and oh that's the red bean. Red bean yeah. Oh that's my first time seeing the red bean here. Like oh, it's really? so good. Yeah. Oh, that's a great color. I think probably also because I use like this is like mixed media paper, mm. like watercolor paper. So okay. I think the shade. It like, looks different. Yeah. Oh I see. Wow, that's great. And then you were showing me what are these on this side of the oh, sketchbook? These are like a thank you note to like all of the um friends or like um, customers that already bought and helped me with the Exolato project. This is a drawing of everybody who like donated or helped with yeah. this project yeah. as an axolotl. Yeah. And, and it says thank you a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that's so cute. I feel like you should make that a stamp. Yeah. Thank oh, you yeah. a lot. Oh yeah, that would be it. like a, I would want that stamp so badly. Make it, uh, make that, it, make okay. it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. Oh, I love it. So like here is also you can see May with her cat Mimi. That's May? Yeah. That's so cute. Wait, is there anyone else I know? Um I think Bobby is oh. here. <gasps> Bobby's here with his daughter. Oh yeah. my gosh, that's Bobby. Yeah. How and cute. Also, I think Wait, is this like a stripper pole? What's happening yeah. here? <laughs> I have a friend who's like a really amazing like Oh dancer. my yeah. god, it's an axolotl and a server ball. Yeah, that's, really funny. that's so funny. So like Anna with um her traveler's notebook. Oh yeah. wow, okay, that's one of our customers, Anna with her traveler's notebook. How cute. I love these. I love these. They're so cute. Oh, cool. Well, Thanks. thank you for showing us, Authen. Yeah, of course. I hope to see the thank you a lot stamp. Sure. And I hope to see a lot more coming from you. Of course, I will yeah. do my best. I know, you're it. so creative, so I'm sure you have like a million things that you're already working on. What about you, Daisy? What's happening? 
Uh, well, I guess for us here at Yoseka, we have just last week, we um, announced that workshop signups were happening over the weekend. So that was like the big thing that we were working on last week. And many of you um, came out on Saturday, or came out on your computer. <laughs> on Saturday and we're ready to sign up for those workshops. So I have to say thank you so much for everybody who um, showed up on Saturday in front of your computers ready to sign up for the workshops at noon. The workshops mostly sold out within, they all booked out within the, like, the first day essentially, and many of them booked out within like the first 15 minutes or so. Yeah. So I was shocked by that and we are actually currently um, in the middle of talking to all the instructors about adding more sessions on. So we will have a second round of signups for the workshops starting on June 15th and we'll announce those workshops um, as we get more confirmations. Um, so yeah, that was that was last week. I feel like that was like the biggest thing that happened yeah. last week for me personally. I was working really hard towards that all week. I was so nervous. Oh yeah. I think like for the workshops, I was really nervous because we have people coming from Japan oh. to teach them. Oh, right, right, right. And um, you know, I was very, I felt like I had a personal stake in it because for people like the TSL team right. and for Bechuri, like I was basically, I reached out to them and I was like, you should come and teach a workshop. People will love it, people will love it. And I, and you know, until the workshop signups are happening, I, I wasn't sure like how they would do, you know, I, even though I was pretty sure people would love it because I love them so much. Yeah. Um, but it was so good to see everybody really showed up and supported like the, these brands, these instructors. And I think the workshops are going to be such a special part of Stationery Fest. Yeah, like, I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm sure they will be. Yeah, I'm really excited for like the Cholis workshop too. Yes, yeah. I know. We're adding two. We're adding two more sessions for Bechori oh, nice. because his four sold out so quickly. Okay. And I love that. Like I asked Bechori, I was like, Oh, would you want to add like another table for mm. your sessions to make it like double the class size? And he said that maybe that would maybe like make the experience of the class less good so okay. he would rather add two additional sessions oh, wow. and I was just like oh wow because it's hard work he's yeah. gonna teach like two and a half hour sessions yeah, yeah. like six, six of them <laughs> six of them over three days and um, yeah I just have a lot of respect so um, love that and then actually today our team Yoseka team is going on a workshop ourselves All right. so um, one of the workshops at Stationery Fest is going to be with Lucky Rizograph. Yay! Yeah, they are an, they're amazing. Yeah, I know, yeah. um, they are a Rizograph printing studio here in New York, an indie studio, and they do so much amazing work with um, small businesses, yeah. with different organizations, with independent artists and they're amazing yeah. so creative also and so they're going to be doing a workshop at stationary fest that's like make your own notebook so you get to print risograph print your own notebook cover and you can put like different types of paper in it like a uh, planner paper or grid paper or line paper and then bind the notebook okay. so um, or with like spiral right. and so i think there's a lot to learn about risograph printing um so Amanda, the, the one of the founders, invited our team over so that we could experience it ourselves and kind of like we'll, we'll be doing videos there and we'll take you all along with us for the ride too. So you can look out for that video coming mm. soon. So I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, everything's I'm so excited. <laughs> so other than that, we do have some newly added stationery to share with you all. Um, this week we can start with, do you want to start with the hours stuff often? Sure, yeah, I love hours. You do? Yeah. Ours is from Taiwan. Yeah, and then they they always have like these so many cool designs. So what's new from ours often? Yeah, so here, um, I think this time they created um, these like cat designs. So, so I think cute. these series are like together with cats. Mm. And then they also came up with these like very popular um, the roll um, sticker notes. Oh, it's like the roll the sticky st memo thing. Right, right, right. Yeah, everybody's doing this right now. Yeah. I and love it. Yeah, there's oh, wait, like... This one's really cute though. Wow, wait, these are such cute illustrations. They're cat themed, of yeah. course. A lot of them are cats, not all of them. Oh, how cute. Okay. 
And then they also came up with like these um, love, like I think this is like paper lovers. So these are like love themed. Oh, yeah. what does this say? A crazy paper lover, I see. Yeah. So there will be like a lot of collages here. Mm. And then for these stamps, um, this one's like a cute one with a shelf. Mm, and it says on the wall. Yeah, on the wall. And then this one's like on the chair. On the chair. Yeah. And it's a chair mode. It's a little chair. They're so cute. And then, wait, what does this one say? From my home heart love to you. Yeah, I think this one would be perfect for like a gift tag or if you like mm. write like a love letter and then you put it on the envelope. That yeah. would be so cute. Yay, I love the theme. And then there's also, what else is new from ours? They're so good at coming up with these like books. They right. did like a couple of these books before, but this time it's the what is it, brick notes it's called? Yeah, this time they came up with like the brick notes and then the research project. I'm sure like the research project, I think it's like from their um, planner system. Mm. Like they did all these like research ones. And then so- Oh right, they have the hours research planner. Yeah, I planners. forgot about that, okay. Yeah, so I think this one is like pretty cool. Here you can like track down the dates and then you can like put whatever the project is about here. Mm. And I saw like on the sample, um, they did like a recipe. Like they just That's like logged their recipe so here. So cute. Yeah, so you can probably like put the, whatever you cooked here and then mm -hmm. you write down the recipe steps here. Mm. Yeah, so, Notes. Yeah, this will be like a perfect, I feel like it will be perfect for a lot of stuff. Mm, yeah, it can be, it can be used multiple ways, I think. Yeah, and then the brick notes is similar to their, um, the card one. Mm. they released before. Right, but it's like smaller boxes. So yeah. You get four per page. And then you can probably like track down like um, individual projects or like mm -hmm. individual um, trips or collages. I'd, yeah. yeah, I feel like this is good for like lots of collections. Like if you collect like, I don't know, stamps or something, you could have like a collection of all of your stamps in here. Or if you love to buy like vinyl stickers, you mm -hmm. could do vinyl stickers in here too and collect them or like restaurant cards or right. something. Very cute for commemorating lots of occasions, I right. think. Whatever, it can be used in lots of different ways. Cool, also new this week, since I guess we're talking about like stickers and stamps and stuff, we have some new High Tide planner stickers. These are so these cute. Are, yeah, these oh. are so cute. I don't know why I love planner stickers so much every time, I'm such a sucker, but like these are so cute. High Tide, these High Tide motifs we have seen before in larger stickers and in like, even like they have keychains right. with the embroidered right. patches. Or like pins. Pins, yeah. exactly. So it's just like the same motifs, familiar motifs, but in this really small format, which is perfect for a planner. I freaking love the food one and I love this one too like with this like lady shopping oh yeah <laughs> I like how every time when high tide comes with like a design it's always like funny and like funky it is always like funny and funky yeah. I know it's so good wait what does this say do you know Oh, this is like payday. Payday! So this this one is great as an yeah. overall planner sticker, I think. Yeah, these are yeah, these are perfect for planners. A glass of wine. Yeah, and then you can like probably go to barber or like get a haircut here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, going to the gym. Right. Getting fit. So these are the new High Tide Planner stickers, which we love, you know, they both are loving. Yeah. Um, and then also new from High Tide, we have these trays. So they're these like, they, they've always made the marble trays. Right. So these are new solid color trays that we're seeing from them in the, these like larger size and the smaller size. I love it. How cute. These are really funny. Um, so. I actually like entered these products mm -hmm. and then so I knew like these are inspired by the fast food, like American <gasps> fast food restaurants. No like, wonder yeah. they look so like familiar yeah. and nostalgic and they make me happy because fast food makes me happy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like so funny because like when I now was- Now I want a burger. Oh, yeah, <laughs> this is why I ordered burgers for lunch today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then like these, um, all of the photos yeah. like High Tide took 
are like with fried chicken on it. Oh it's my god! It's not like god. not stationary. That's it's so, so funny. funny. So you can see like burgers or like fries, Wait, fried chicken. Wait, that's hilarious! It is yeah. perfect for that. It would be really cute in a restaurant, yeah, right? It is, yeah. yeah, it would be really cute in a restaurant. Yeah. Like if you have an old school like retro dinery kind of restaurant, yeah. these would be adorable. Cool. Also new this week, we have this new Kokuyo notebook. It's called Drawing and Numbered. Um, it's very interesting. It is this kind of A5 slim size, right. and it has this very um, minimalistic cover. And then when you flip it um, open, it is like a tiny grid. It looks like it's like a three millimeter grid. Mm, yeah. I don't think it's a two millimeter grid. But I think it's a three millimeter grid. There comes with an it, it comes with an index on every single page, so you can color in, and it has this very interesting paper. All the number, all the pages are numbered, and I think you're meant to draw or like record things in it. It, it could be kind of good for a bullet journal. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Um, cause it, it has like all the pages numbered and it, it seems like it's very much wanting to be broken up into sections already. And there is also this like in front of the notebook, there's this index section as well. So, um, I know that we're going to get questions on the paper because the paper is, I'm not sure what paper it is actually. Yeah. Cause Kokuyo makes, Kokuyo has Mio paper and they have a couple of different types of papers that they use in their notebooks. So I have a fountain pen here and we thought we would do a little test. This is confetti blue. Oh, nice. This is Alex's pen. Thanks Alex. It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty fountain pen friendly, actually. And the paper color is, is it's kind of interesting. It's kind of grayish, I feel like. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Do you get that? It's, yeah, it is like kind of gray. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, here's, here's the new notebook from Kokuyo. It's a very interesting one. Let us know if you want to try it, what you think of it. Um, and I think that... I think that's a good one for bullet journaling, as okay. I was saying before. So yeah, check this out if you're into bullet journaling. Cool, and then other than that, we have some new fountain pens that we received last week. Mm -hmm. So these here on the pen tray, this is the Yoseka Walnut pen tray. This is our refresh, I'll take that away. But um, these here are the new Lamy colors. How fun, they're so summery. Yeah, they are pretty. They're summery. Yeah. They're, this, I feel like I could see you with one of these, actually. With like the teal color yeah, the the XLR yeah, color. yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's perfect. Oh um, so I, I hope this is coming through because it's looking a little bit lighter on right. camera than it is. But this pen is called Cherry Blossom. Yeah. And it's like, a, it's like a very nice pink, actually. It's not super pastel. It, and it has like a bright kind of cherry pink clip. And then the grip section is this also sort of like matching cherry pink. So it's very cute. And then the finial is the same yeah. pink red. Um, and then this colorway is called Pina Colada. And it is like this teal, um, it's actually, I feel like it would be a good match for confetti blue. Oh, yeah. um, and then there's like this bright yellow clip, finial and grip section here. Yeah. So these pens are like so summery, they make me, they remind me of like, do you, do you remember like Sailor Cocktail Series pens? Oh yeah, those. Yeah, it yeah. makes me feel like I'm on like a tropical island somewhere. Yeah, it's very summer. So those are the new Lobby Safaris. And then also we received last week some highly anticipated Sailor fountain pens. These are the Sailor Wagashi pens. Right. Um, we were getting so many emails about these like before they actually arrived, specifically about the Sakura Mochi colorway, mm -hmm. I feel like. Um, but this is a set of five pens, five different colored pens. And I don't have them here, but we'll put a picture of them here. And they're inspired by the traditional Japanese suite called Wagashi. Mm. Um, there's a few different types of Wagashi. And you use you you usually enjoy it with like matcha green tea. Right. They're very delicate. They're very yeah. small, and they're very um, beautiful. 
Yeah, they are. It's right? like a very, really nice experience. Like yeah. Together with tea and obashi. Yeah. I, I had one for the first time the other day at Kettle. Mm. And I was like, oh, do I eat this? Like, I wasn't sure if it's something you eat or right. if it's something they just put in front of me because it's like so it's, decorative yeah, and like they so make it like a little piece of art. I was like, oh, am I supposed to eat this? <laughs> um, but it was delicious, mm. especially with the green tea and, and the packaging. Right, the packaging is, it comes in like a really beautiful package. It's like a souvenir, um, like an omiyake. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even know that part. Yeah, I didn't even notice, but like the packaging for these wagashi pens from Sailor, are packaged like actual wagashi treats. Yeah. So that was a very good touch from and, Sailor. Yeah. It also comes with like a shikiori ink together with That's right. Box, That's yeah. right. It also comes with the ink. So yeah. it's like a nice little gift set. Yeah. It will yeah. be like perfect for a gift. Yes. As a gift. Yeah. Yeah. It would. It yeah. would. It would. And I think that is about it for this week's newly added stationery and uh, pretty much this episode of catching up but thank you all so much for joining and often thank you so much oh, for coming thanks for having me i'm so I'm Yay. so happy Yay! Um, show often some love in the comments and be sure to check out his new collection. It's available on your website, right? Um, yeah, it is. What is your website? Um, it's like authenchen.com slash shop. Okay. Yeah. We'll put the link on the bottom as well for anybody who wants to check out axolotl nice. art or yeah. if anyone else is loving axolotls and wants to help protect this yeah. endangered species. But um, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Catching Up, and we will see you very soon in the next one. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Bye.